All right. So, whoops, change the font right now. I'm gonna change this font to a TTM font. Let's do TTM as we said regular. All right. Now we're gonna do. I'm gonna hit the Q. Whoops. That's weird. What happens if I? There we go. So I'm hitting the Q. Let's see. So let's see how many of these go across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, almost 16. So why is this, this one is different. Let's see the font size is 22.5 with the canvas size, let's see. So let's go back to this. So we want this to fit a perfect 16 in there. So it might be that the size of this, we can change this to be a little bit bigger, but I wanna keep this at eight point, the, the normal, uh, eight and a half by 11. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's interesting that it's not eight and a half by 11. Um, but we'll just do that. We're just gonna make this so that, that that many can fit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 of these capital ones fit in here, right? Like that, so 16 fit, all right? Oops, that's almost 16 there. That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The 16th one almost fit. We're going to open this up a little bit more. There we go. Just for a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe what, what we'll just do is we'll just change the spacing a little bit. We're going to change the spacing in this so it's more exact. And this is a option that you have with this if you want to fit them together like perfect blocks. We're going to change the tracking. All right, so we're gonna go to, um, should be under maybe paragraph, and line spacing, maybe it's under a character. All right, so let's go under font, and we're gonna go to, we're gonna change the tracking, advanced, nope, let's see. All right, so we're going to um, do a sequence, and we're going to tailor the sequence to exactly how we want. And we're going let's zoom out a little bit. I mean, zoom in. Let's make this like maybe 300. So these are a little bit bigger. It's more interesting to look at. All right. All right. So uh, let's move this back. So we're going to change. We're going to adjust the tracking so that these overlap perfectly in this piece, and we're going to have 16. Um, per line, so um, we can have them as 16 notes. So we're going to go to format. We're going to go to go to font, and we're going to change the spacing. We're going to lower the spacing. We're going to click until these overlap. You see that these are going to overlap right here. Going to overlap these. Keep making the space go lower until they overlap. So there's no white space in between them. All right, like that, we're almost there. All right, we're almost there. Still a little bit of space in between. Keep going down a little bit, there we go. That's, a, that's pretty good. Maybe the, let's go back a little bit. Nope, let's go this way. One more, one more maybe, let's see. There we go, that looks pretty on. So let's do that. Let's just go with that, all right? So those are perfectly on, so you see that now? So see how, they, now obviously th these are impossible to do because you can't do like, I said in other videos that you can't just go 
and then immediately pull it back unless you're doing a sample trigger like you know um, and this is why TTM is more complex than regular music notation because there's so many styles and different ways that you can make a sound and, and bend a sound. Turntablism has a lot more possibilities than, than regular pianos and regular music that you know we've, we've been accustomed to. So let's see what this looks like. Um, we're going to make it so that the even 16 fit in here. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Great. That's the even 16. And we'll just make this line like right here. Alright, so even 16. Alright, so then if we keep copying these, or let's say you wanted to take one away, maybe. Alright, and have a space. Maybe two. Alright, so you can you can do like that. So one, two, or look, then I can two. Oops. Two and then one, two. Then I can do one, two. So I can do one, two. One, two. And then maybe this one is one, two. And then let's see. Alright, yeah, look at that. So this is just like choo, 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 choo. Alright. So that sounds like this. going to copy this definitely edit that out edit that messed up part out we're going to copy this and do a space and paste and boom look at that we got a whole another line of that see all right so it's that choo 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 all right and then we're going to do the Smaller versions, you can do like this, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. All right, so all we need is 32. Um, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to change the tracking on these. I'm going to go back to the font tool. And we're going to kind of spread these out a little bit more so they overlap in the right way. You know, so this is just showing how finely you can tweak these. And then we're going to do a bunch of freestyles where we're just going to, I'm just going to, um, you know, create a whole piece. from scratch. Alright, so you see these are starting to come together more as I space them a little bit more apart. So these small ones are in need of a little bit different tracking. So you can, you know, you can be really precise with your piece. Um, you know, this is, this is, this, when you're changing the tracking, it's moving them up farther apart. So this whole spacing area, spacing is moving them farther apart. Going up is moving them farther apart. Going down is moving them closer together. All right, so let's do go up a little bit more. Get them a little bit more farther apart. Yeah, I think that's probably good. Right there. So look, our 32 almost hits the whole line, like like I was trying to do from the beginning. So we got one. Let's see. Let's count one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. All right. All right, so that's 32. So that's 30 seconds now. So, so you know, it's, it's going da, 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 you know. All right. So if you want to program some trap stuff, you can you can write it all out. 
Alright, so now we've got that set up. So now we're just going to actually do a whole freestyle. Alright, and I'm just going to let it flow and just start typing. Alright. Alright, so we're going to start typing. Okay, now let's see, so let's start. See, these are impossible right here. I did those three ends. So most of the time, people use a lot of flares. We're going to do a lot of... I like to scratch like this with a lot of continuous stuff going on. All right. See, that's impossible right there. Some of these are impossible. you got to put spaces in it. There's actual scratch grammar. See, there's got to be a space in between that. All right. Probably a space between this too. So now I'm gonna get more a little bit more coherent. So let's let's get some flares going like flare um, chirp maybe where's the chirp? Let's see, how about this go? Alright, so let's go back up. So this is a beta test. But this is actually a composition as well. So this is a beta test composition. This is beta test competition um, composition number one, really, because this is going to be a very um, long one. All right, so let's get a bunch of slices in there. All right. So let's spin that transforms. Transform in there. Money symbol. Yeah, like that. Boom. All right. Now let's go to the next line. All right. Whoops. Go to the next line. Add some more. Uh, all these scratches. Let's get a little bit more simple. A little bit more simple. So let's get some stabs in there. So now this is like duh, duh, droop, see? So let's get a bunch of stabs. Oops, I've been practicing a lot of stabs recently. I've been looking at a lot of short shortcut videos and trying to get my stabs to that speed. And I realized the secret to getting your stabs super fast is um, really just doing um, drill, I mean tipping, tipping really fast, you know, and then it doesn't even matter how fast your crossfader is moving because, you know, the sound is being made is, is, is going super fast. All right, so let's do some more of these. So, and shout out to Andre Bermotwire. I actually did a, a, a piece with him that was similar to this year's Go um, at the Paul at a, actually this was at the Dactyl Gallery in uh, Soho, and it was very interesting because uh, I was uh, reading I was using the keyboard in Reactor and triggering the synthesizer with the keyboard, but I was reading text and writing text at the same time. All right, so you could do the same thing with this. So if I write the word. 
A and D in TTM and in this particular character set, A and D equals four prism and scrimble. So that's A and D. <laughs> so that's a particular word. So let's, let's spell that out again. That's A and D. It's forward prison and scrimble, but a small case A and D is uh, you know is the same thing, same pattern. So so if I spell my name like if I spell D J and then space and then R A E D A W N, it looks like that. My particular name has a pattern, so that's D J Radon. All right. If I type something like uh, this, if I type um, the word uh, let's type mixer m i x e r that's mixer the word mixer all right if i type the word uh let's see um angle a n g l e that's how it looks if i do it in uh, uppercase i can go a n g l e see how fast i was able to do that because since i can type um, I can, you know, do do the letters really fast. So, you know, if you, you can tra every uh, combo is going to have a, a a translation, a, a actual, you know, alphabetic translation. And if you have, you know, different languages, you know, people in France with different characters, their, their characters will translate differently. And people, um, you know, that are using different characters on their keyboard is going to uh, translate differently. But the scratch characters will still be the same. All right, so so for instance, another word, um, I use the word, uh, let's say, uh, symphony, S Y M P H O N Y. All right, so that's symphony. All right. So let me type um, scratch the word, S C R A T C H, and then scratch, and this is S C R A T. CH uppercase, you see how they're similar? And now I'm gonna do the word another word. I'm gonna do the word turntable, so that's T U R N T A B L E. And if I do smaller, it's T U turntable. It's the same thing. Oops, I'll write it again so you can see it. You see how fast I can write? I can be like see that's turntable, and I'll add ist. And table list, All right. All right. Yeah, but this this can't really happen right there. There's gonna be a space between that right there. Whoops, we don't do that. But yeah, there should be a space over here um, after this, and maybe um, this can get over here. Whoops, undo that. I'll leave that. All right, but. Yeah, this, so this is kind of a beta test to, to go through different things, and we can add some more forward bars, right? Some, some bars, you know. All right, and then, you know, there's all different types of it. So you can notate uh, beat juggling. Um, we're going to have some other ones in the future that are, you know, specifically designed for beat juggling and different things like that. All right, so let's keep going. We're on page four. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to 100 pages. So I'm gonna start going much faster. So and then I'm gonna go through later. All right. Oops. Let's go through and I'll put spaces between these ones that need spaces. Or these half layers a lot of times need some spaces. So it's like correct. All right. But you know what? I'll leave the spaces so I can just kind of make it all gibberish. Keep going. So this, I'll make this into a PDF and give this to people for free. All right, let's make that a little bit more chromatic. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can really see. 300, let's make it at 200. Alright, so now you can really see what I'm doing. So.
All right, so you see, I'm keeping it going. Scroll up. I'm gonna keep writing. Now I'm gonna let's save this. Pause it and save it. All right, now we're gonna pick up the pace. We're at page six, so I'm gonna do this beta test and beta test uh, freestyle composition. Right, page six, we're gonna go all the way up to um, maybe page 100. So we're gonna pause for a second and we're gonna save. I'm just gonna click save. So, I'm going to keep going, so I'm going to give us some flares. So, so, this is a very common scratch, the flare scratch. A lot of people do this. And I'm going to add some other stuff with the flares. I'm going to go flare foot. Oops, so you can't even see that. Let's go there. So these are some was, so some was and some some flares and some was. So I do a lot of stuff like this all the time. Doing a lot of flares and was scratches. Oh, it's not let me scroll up. But let's see. All right, let me spell out some things. So let's, let's try some different words. So now I'm gonna do, do some different words. Um, I'm gonna type out, hello. <laughs> that's hello. Hello, how are you? What time is it today? Period. <laughs> Two click lasers, period. Alright, now let's get some more gibberish. Alright, let's see. So let's, let's try this now. Let's try a bunch of repetitive joints. Alright, let's go back kind of to where we were at 300. I think it's more interesting. So on 300. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's supposed to say the eight fitting in here. Why is the eighth not fitting in there? I guess that one's a little bit longer, maybe. I'm going to start using more spaces. I didn't notice that rhythm I was making when I was hitting those. This is a bunch of steps. Alright. Just gonna add some more here. We're just making a whole cool piece right here. 
Alright, let's get this mask in the back. Alright. Hopefully the mask isn't gonna run out of juice. But this is just a test score. Now we're gonna use the numbers some more. Get into some more transforms. Let's put some spaces in between these. All right, so I'm gonna use the space bar a little bit more. Faster now. Now let's get the stuff where people could probably do a lot of these. A lot of the stuff I was typing before is really complicated, actually. Like, even though it looks like gibberish, that stuff is really complex. Like California Rogue to <laughs> Prism to whatever. Like, a lot of that stuff is really complicated. See. Maybe somebody will be able to do this in the future. Let's scroll up some more. See how these blocks make counting the time a lot easier because you can just look at these blocks as time and spaces like spaces instead of uh, having to actually calculate it and being totally exact. So this is kind of like a hybrid between being exactly mathematic and symbolic notation. Like classical Western music uses staffs and notes as the the, the notes as a uh, you know, representations of time. All right, so we're gonna keep going. We're at page 12. All right. So we're gonna do a bunch of flares. I'm making these spare flares. It's gonna be a nice spare, spare transition into the Bar four, some more flares, another bar, some other stuff, you know, it could be a third of a bar, it could be double time, it could be, it could be a lot of stuff, let's see. Let's do save. So it's good to do save. Let's save now. Alright. Now let's go in more. Alright. Let's bring it down here. Next page. to score and this is just the first of this is the first version of the TTM character ASCII set and the waves version is also included in this where it's just the waves without the boxes All right. 
So you see that if you have a wave like this, if you have, let's say, um, this slice and it's followed by the three click orbit, if this, this click right here, that click symbol, it's going to, with these connect, when these connect, it's going to just be a, a closed fader because if you add a, when you, on an additive wave, if you add a closed fader and an open fader, it's going to equal a closed fader. All right, so it's going to be a closed link. The, the, the black dot's going to, going to eclipse that white dot and it's going to become a, a closed click. All right. But this is going to be open, so three click to a double time uh, flare. So it's like, what the, 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 waka waka. So it's like, what the, 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 waka, what the, 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 waka waka, you know? What the, the, the. Or actually, it's going to go, what the, 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 waka waka, you know? All right, so. So this is like, what the, the, so this is like, the, the, what the, the, the. So what the, the, so what the, 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 what the, the, the. Waku waku. So what the 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 what the the waku waku, like this. I'll play it out. That's just that right there. Right. So that was just those two. What the 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 what the the waku waku. All right. So let's keep on going. Keep on trucking. And, uh, so many DJ styles out there, you know. Every DJ is pretty much unique, you know. But you know, people copy each other's styles a lot. That's why another one of the reasons I created the system is for people to be able to expand figure out the styles of the past, but also use that to be able to make new styles for the future. All right, so a lot of these patterns are patterns from the, from the past, most of these. All right, let's make this a little bit shorter. Like that, yeah, make these phrases out. Maybe I'll do these in groups of like three, so do the three in a space. So this is a totally unique composition. I'm doing some more scratch grammar because you know I had to move those right there. All right. All right. scratches. People never really do that. You never hear people doing that. It's very complicated actually because it's not symmetric. Most scratches you people you see people do are pretty much symmetric. Very cool to see somebody try to do some of these patterns.
this is a beta test. See what these compositions kind of come out looking like. So just a couple of bars playing. Now we're going to come in with some new stuff. Right here. Scratch grammar. And some of these can even be um, sample pad triggers. Like many of the new mixers today have all the cool little sample pads on it. different versions of these font sets like faderless ones. I mean there's an infinite number of scratches. Cool. Very complicated to do this. If anybody can do this, this is very complicated. For those who know what these how difficult a lot of these scratches are. Just start typing. All right, put some spaces, do a little grammar. Space there, space there. All right. So we're adding a bunch of stuff now. Well, let's do a bunch of transforming. Now it's going to transform for a couple of pages. Get a bunch of transformed scratches in. changing the grammar on these as you notice because if I did it would take forever so I'm gonna go much faster I'm trying to get to page 100 within a short period of time oops open let me open that again open from template open recent I don't know why that got closed Let's go down to where we were. So this is everything that we just did. There we go. So this is where we were. <laughs> All right. We're adding a bunch. Of, we have some transform mode. Got a flare in there. Some transforms, flares.
Okay, I was getting super fast there with the double time stuff. Let me do some slower stuff. Remember, once again, the kerning can be changed on these. So this is really abstract scratching. But this would sound pretty cool, because given that the DJ was able to execute all these like perfectly, you know, it would sound very cool. Quick, we're on page 31 now. We'll do a little save right here. Make sure we got this saved. So the goal is to make a 100 page book PDF that we'll give out for free. And let's use a little more negative space. Me personally, when I scratch, I tend to be kind of doing what I call a uh, power move style, which is like no negative space, where I'm just continuously stringing together different scratches, kind of like how b-boys will, you know, continuously string together air moves and stuff like that, um, floor moves and stuff. But um, you know, most people when they scratch, you know, there's a lot of negative space, and that's what we call funk and flow is the mastery of even using simple cuts like this, like forwards, and so I got a bunch of forward cuts and just using negative space, so like this. So if you want to do like Herbie Hancock's routine, like, like, duh, duh, you know. So it's like, this is military scratching, and you got forwards, and then you got slices. So it's like, duh, 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 duh. so it's like, duh, duh, so like that, divot, that, divot, that, divot, 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 that, divot, that, divot, that, divot, 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 that, divot, 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 that, that. So it's like four, 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 slice, slice, four, four, slice. Now I can have some spaces. Do some other ones, smaller, faster ones. Like that, that, that. All right. So we're just doing a bunch of different styles here. We're at page thirty-six. So. Making this a little bit more realistic now. This looks more like something that somebody could do. I'm not just doing crazy complex combos. All right. So let's go back to what we were doing before. So let's do a pattern. How about? A E A E A big A E big A E. Huh? So military scratching is A and W. So it's like this is W, this is A. So so if I type A W F, that's fair. So A W F A W F A W F A. So A. W F A W F A W F A W F. Same. So these. So part of this. This is kind of like a. I had a teacher named uh, Thrower Star who used to give us these like free writing experiments, and that's what this is. It's kind of like free writing. Um, this is like a free writing scratch. We used to do that as a warm up in our writing class. He was like, just write whatever you want to write about. And before that in school, before I had met him, I was so used to writing always being like um, something that was really complicated and I had to think about it. But just somebody uh, presenting that idea of just letting yourself flow and just being able to write whatever comes to your head and actually freestyle but on, on paper, you know, it was a whole new concept to me. And, 
So that's kind of what this is. This is like freestyling on paper. And it's also, you know, showing, uh, you know, it's a beta test too of the software. We're at page 42 now, almost halfway. We're going to 100. I'm going to give this away free as a 100 page book. page diagnostic book so this is some really this probably would sound like DJ disc or something so I'm creating new combos as we speak too as you can see oops that was iTunes that accidentally came out, but that's part of the soundtrack of uh, the film we're working on. A little preview, a little sneak peek. Alright, now we're at page 47, moving much faster. Now we're going to use a little bit more space, string these together. sample triggers if you're doing this like back to back you see a uh, regular you know turntable can't uh, bring it back to the beginning of the sample without um, having to rewind it if you need time to rewind but you know the sample pads and all these new mixers sample banks can do that that's what samplers do so that's a sample trigger anytime you see that and this can involve sample triggers too this because that's part of mixer technology now it's, it's all game now it's part of turntablism Okay, now, so we're at page 53. Now we're going to go keep going. Now we're going to use a lot more space. being typed up. Kind of like Pollock, you know, Jackson Pollock was just throwing uh, a bunch of paint and splattering everywhere and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm just splattering all these scratches kind of everywhere. And the canvas is 100 pages. So once I get to 100 pages, I'm going to stop. And that'll be the canvas and I'll save it as a PDF and give it to y'all. So, Alright, we're at page 60 now. back into some more transformer. Now we're going to do some slower stuff. Let's just stay slow. Put a caps lock on. I'm going to keep caps lock on. We're just going to do a bunch of uppercase bigger scratches in this part of the composition. I'm going to do a few pages of just this. Save. Now we're at page 67. Cool thing is these I'm doing different techniques of and you know these compositions from a macro level is gonna look very interesting. That's one whole composition. So 
So over the years we've been doing most things in the digital realm. Uh, for this next decade and even this year, everything's going to be coming into physical form with these inventions and you know softwares and you know, all these uh, theoretical and things are, are, are being solidified and that's what we're doing here right now. We're at page 72. Do another save. Whoops. Getting crazy keys now. Let's add some more. Alright, space. A lot of clover tears in this. I keep hitting it for some reason. Let's try some new keys. Oh, here's some M scribbles. I wasn't really hitting the M scribbles before. Us. So now the M scribbles are starting to come into the piece. So this is a diagnostic. So let's right, get some M's. And some prisms. And let's stretch this out so that it's remember we want this to fit eight. I know that's not fitting eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. So page seventy-four. All right. So we got that back. So this thing is correcting itself. Now it's up in eights. So we go one, two, three, four. Whoops. Let's try one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, so it's just ace, look at that, nice. Get back to nice queen bars. All right, we're at page 78. Get back to caps locks. fits into the realm of abstract turntablism, but this is actually a pretty concrete technique that I'm doing. It's just a technique is abstract. All right, we're at page 83. We're almost there. Once we get to 100, we're going to stop. So yeah, there's a, cool, a lot of cool techniques coming out of this. A lot of stuff I've never seen before. A lot of stuff that's, you, you might need a computer to do it, so with all these half layers and stuff like that. Faster. Whoops, keep it with these other weird keys. Alright, there we go. So now we're at page 87. Got a lot of hippos in there. Let's get some more. Whoa, look at that. How did that happen? What was that? That was like some weird apostrophe thing. Alright. So let's get some AWM. So this looks very cool. It's like ma'am, mama. Alright, we're at page 90, we're almost there. Three. Oh, we'll get a little bit more 
normal as we get to the end. Fix this grammar right here. Get that. Let's get that a little bit more normal. Page 97. Let's get this, let me get this big empty space there. Good. All right, page 97. There, 100. Page 100. Right, let's make this a little bit more organized. Put some spaces in between some of these. So we're going to limit it to 100. Back here. All right. Let's look at that. All right. So let's look at that. So now we're going to backtrack. That's 100 pages right there. Page 99 of 100, page 100 of 100. So that's 100. All right, let's, so we're going to go to each page. We should be able to look at each page. Uh, let's change the view. We should be able to change the page layout. Let's see, layout. Um, Maybe let's pause. All right, we're at page 100. So now we're going to change the layout so we can look at what these pages look like. So we're going to change the layout to into full screen. All right, we can look at it like this. So this is what this whole 100 pages looks like. So this is the score. This is what we just uh, did live. So there's a lot of pages here, you can see. We're going to look at this in different layout formats. So this is 100 pages. It's a lot, a lot of scratches. This would be very strenuous to do. And it was strenuous for me to just typing it. So I would imagine scratching would be even more strenuous. But you never know, sometimes people might go through this many scratches in a practice section. Session, I mean, it's probably take, you know, maybe like four times as long to actually do these. If you could do them, maybe. Because I was able to type pretty fast. I'm able to type faster than, you know, you can hit it. The key faster than somebody can actually do the scratch. All right, so we got all these different patterns here. These different combos. So the, the combos are infinite. Combos are endless. As you can see, with scratching, you just keep doing new things and arranging things in new ways. Uh-oh, connection's lost. I have to pause. All right, now we're back. Back where we were. So let's uh, 
Start to uh, scroll some. Let's see, I got this new mouse. Let's maybe I can just uh, click sideways. Let's see. Yeah, this is easier. So you see, we got a lot of different styles here, a lot of different combos, a lot of pages. So we're going to do a review of all 100 pages. pages we're almost there we're like halfway right now these are all unique patterns none of these are the same really except when I was typing out some letters I mean some words all right there's a lot of different patterns here numerous numerous patterns I'm just keep capturing all these Let's see. Pages and pages. I notice it has the red lines too, the ones that are like spelled wrong. <laughs> like it's the actual word. So I just, you know, it's just showing uh, the type of things you can do. So I was just doing that quickly, but, you know, if you take your time and go through, you know, each scratch intricately, you can, you know, write out. Um, your own compositions and we'll do that in the future but I just wanted to make a, a quick book I had it in my mind for a while of uh, you know doing like a hundred page book that's like a freestyle kind of like um, kind of like abstract expressionist kind of technique of uh, you know, but really more totally abstract you know pretty much very very abstract And, you know, there's a big abstract turntablism movement, but, you know, there's a lot of debate on that because, you know, turntablism's always been pretty abstract. But, yeah, within abstract, obviously, there's different types of abstract. So, yeah, we're almost there at the beginning now. We're, we're just going backwards. So this is where we added all those, um, you know, those bars of Whitman Hill track play. But, you know, if it's fitting into... The bar is from left to right, then it's less than a bar, obviously. But those can be stretched longer. You can make it a whole bar, you know, you can make it a, you know. Alright, so we're almost back to page one. So you can see how these styles kind of changed and progressed over time. It's using stabs on that page. This next page had a lot of the, like, skewed babies, a lot more spacing in these. All right, we're almost getting to the beginning. Almost there. Is that it? That's it. I think we're at the beginning. Yep, that's it. That's 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 the beginning, and the top of the page looks like that. That's the top of the page. Now let's see a different layout format. Let's see uh, what happens if we click out of here and go to layout. Layout is um, okay. So we're gonna we did full screen. Let's see publishing layout. Cancel. Let's see some different types. Let's do. Maybe outline. Outline is kind of interesting. Print layout. Not print layout. Notebook layout. Not that. How about publishing layout? Nope. How about. Hmm. Full screen. There's a way 
seem like maybe if we uh, change this to instead of 125%, maybe if we say 200%. All right, I think we're good with that. I think we got all this across, got the point across. So that's 100 pages, 100 pages of scratches right there. Page one all the way to page 100. All right, and that's it. So this is a TTM asking character set in the Microsoft Word environment. And this was just kind of like a beta test. We got a little space there more grammatically correct. So this is the test score. I'm going to press save and bada boom, we're done. Signing off. All right. Now this is a whole nother layout. This is the web layout version, which looks really cool. And we'll see what this looks like. This is web layout. Scroll through this. This is, it looks very cool as a score in this version. More in the middle, maybe this version. All right, look at that. Very cool. So yeah, these can uh, these characters can be used in a lot of different ways. So this is a review of what we just did. Those hundred pages condensed down into about. 13 uh, web pages. All right. Let's go through these again so we can look at them. So it's a lot of different techniques there. That's how it looks. running through it really fast. All right, that was it. All right, so let's close that. All right, we're done. And this is the other lecture. All right.